Well, for kids with the summer comes a lot of flexibility in their sleep schedule, so it's important that they get back into a routine of getting a good night's sleep before the new school year starts. Kid coach Dr. Viviana Vasquez is joining us with some advice. Welcome back to the show. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. All right, uh, this is a topic here as, as we get back into school, the, the sleep schedule. Why is it important to get your kids back onto a, a regimented sleep schedule? Sure, so you don't want to start the night before school. You want to do this a couple weeks before school starts. And what you want to do, obviously, over the summer, they've been out later, the sun is out later, so it's hard for them to get back into a routine. So you want to start a couple weeks ahead, and what you want to do is you want to set a, day, a, a bedtime where they're sleeping at least eight to ten hours of, uh, at night. And so what are, the, what are some of the benefits, though? I mean, it, it, seems, it seems, you know, totally logical and self-explanatory, but the benefits of, of your children getting a good night's sleep uh, before school. So they need to be able to focus in school and a child who doesn't sleep well is not going to be able to focus and complete their tasks. You know it can lead to irritability, anxiety, um, and just having a hard time focusing and listening to their teachers in school. And you touched on it there as we're as, as you're approaching the, the date you can't just I, I remember in summer it was like do everything and then the day before it was like okay you gotta go to bed at 8:30 tonight and then you sit there and stare at the ceiling. Um, how, do, how do you you said you said schedule it back like a couple weeks out? So you want to start at least one to two weeks out before school starts um, and you want to set that time and you want to make sure that if your child has been going to bed at 10 o'clock at night that you're going to be working backwards by 15 minute increments every night until you get to the appropriate bedtime. Um, something else that uh, we talked about this in another segment we could do an hour on it is screen time um, before bed. Mm -hmm. it, I mean is it is it true that having the phone in the bed is not good for your brain to, to shut down? Absolutely so what we're seeing is that having your phone or some kind of electronic uh, in your bedroom or ha being on that device um, definitely inhibits the production of melatonin. And so if you're not having melatonin in your body and it's not producing, then it's kind of throwing off your circadian rhythm and you're not able to go to bed. So we recommend an hour before bed to shut off all electronics and to remove the electronics from the bedroom. So children should not have TVs in the room, their iPhones should be put away somewhere else just to prevent them from texting or you know being up late at night. Or waking up in the middle of the night and grabbing the phone and Bet starting to. to scroll because that's just terrible for you. Yep. Um, what about eating, uh, eating schedule? As far as eating before bed, is there uh, amount of hours you should kind of move dinner as well? That too. So you don't want to eat right before bed. You know, if you're having a heavy uh, pasta dinner before bed, you're going to not be able to get a good night's sleep. So you want to have at least an hour of metabolism um, before you get to bed. Um, and if your child needs a light snack, sure, go for that. The other thing that you want to do is to have a nice sleep environment. So you want to have a nice cool room that's nice and dark. So now in the summertime as we're getting back to school, if the lights are coming into your child's room, you want to have dark shades. That's true. It's true. If the sun's not going down until 830, there's still light coming through. Yeah. It's tough to sleep. Um, all right, uh, and of course, if you're if you're noticing as you get back to school, noticing your child is you know uh, kind of tired or depressed or lacks days goal, should they give you guys a shout? Absolutely, just give us a call and we can help set that sleep routine for you guys and give you guys pointers. It'd be much better for a parent, be like the doctor said this. Yep, <laughs> we'll take the blame for it. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate your time, and you can see this segment again on our website, firstcoastliving.net.